talk about. Um, not too much to talk about um, because I like to not get into detail just how frustrated I am with this Heat team. But all I can tell you is it's clear that they missed Jimmy Butler. So they were really close, but they just avoided disaster. Um, however, I cannot say the same thing with a disaster of the Miami Hurricanes, who are clearly the loser of the week. Just they're, they have in such an awful week. So um, let's see here. Um, uh, the women's um, um, what didn't win the win the game this week. Neither did the men's. The men's are the loser of the week. Why not the women's? Well, they were very close, and I'll talk about that in a moment. All right, so they had a game against a two-week period loss from Florida State Seminoles. I actually have a, I actually have that hoodie, the Florida State Seminoles. Um, I'm not sure if I ever wore it on my Groundhog episodes. If I did, then maybe you could comment. Um, anyway, that match, uh, it's... I mean, you're playing against a, uh, an interstate rival who is also numbered 16 of the country. Now, if it wasn't now, if it wasn't for these injuries, if it wasn't for the all the bad luck that we got for the Hurricanes, this would have been a great match to watch. Instead, we got a disaster match. Walker got 13, Brooks got two, Isaiah Wong got 21, Beverly five, McGussie got 13. Now for Florida State, great 10. Uh, Cover Kitcha, nine. Uh, Wilkes, six. Evans, eight. Walker, 11. Honestly, of course, you have to blame it on the defense, right? The defense couldn't step up to the plate against the Seminoles, and the Seminoles make you pay for it. So, congratulations to the Florida State Seminoles. But, my gosh, I mean, Hurricanes, what are you doing? You're letting them get by you, and then you're. <sighs> Um, so that game I did watch. This game I kind of didn't. I, I got this game against Wake Forest Demon De Deacons. I didn't watch the game uh, because I was I was already watching two other games, the Florida Panthers and the Miami Heat. But we'll talk about those. I can't tell you what happened in the game because I didn't watch the game. But I will tell you the score uh, is fifty four sixty six. Uh, closer than the last game against the Seminoles, which was 59 and 81. Walker got 12. Gak got 7. Wong got 14. But Beverly 4. And Magusti 17 points. For Week 4, Aguama 5. Masad none. Uh, McHughes 13. Williamson 16. And Antonio none. Uh, Davey Williamson, um, I don't think he's related to Simon Williamson. If not, then you can punch me in the face in the future. Now for the, oh, um, we actually have a special guest, so hold on a second. Sorry for the quick cut. Um, all right, so now the women's. So this game, um, this game I thought was going to be a huge blowout. Like there was nothing we can do. Like, we were just going to straight up lose this battle. Hurricanes proved me wrong. Um, they actually really battled the hard outs. Now, I don't think they took the lead one point of the game. But if they did, i really give them props for really trying. This is their best performance. Even though they lost, their best performance against a top 25 team. Let alone top three. Against Louisville Cardinals. You, you can't make this stuff up. Here's the final score of this game. Even though we lost the game. Here. 76-79. Bondu, uh, 17 points. Harden, 6. Marshall, 19. Mason, 5. And Banks, 13. Uh, Katran, 7. Van Lith, 9. Robinson, 9. Uh, Bellagun, uh, 14. And Evans, 20. Dixon from the bench had 21 points. So you can thank Dixon off the bench. They got 29 points off the bench, Louisville. So 
this is the kind of stuff I need. We may not get them all the time, but it's good to hold on to a hope that they could have been the unexpected win. Unfortunately, we fell short. Then the game against Georgia Tech was a complete opposite of what we saw with Louisville. Kubaj with 14. Uh, Hermosa, 10. McQueen, 8. Uh, uh, um, Latinen, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, 13. And Fletcher, 12. By the way, for any names that I pronounce horribly wrong, just I apologize. Uh, Bandu, 11. Harden, none. Marshall, 16. Mason, 11. Banks, 4. Um, this game, um, I didn't really, I didn't really watch this game that often, um, but I did saw a few clips and a few highlights of the game. What I saw was poor defending and Georgia Tech just completely slamming the Miami Hurricanes. And I'm not mad about it. In fact, I actually had family that actually went to this school, Georgia Tech. Uh, so the Yellow Jackets, good game for them, but a horrible game for the Hurricanes. I mean, come on. What, what was that momentum from Louisville? I mean, the, the consistency, at least. Um, so, all right. Now let's talk about the topic of the Miami Heat, who almost made it to loser of the week. Um, one player to mention in this week alone, other than Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo. So, on a Monday night against Brooklyn, a Linux 2 Akpala, three. Adebayo, 26 points. Dragas, 21. And Robinson, seven. Uh, for Brooklyn, Kevin Durant, 20 points. Harris, 12. Jordan, 11. Irvin, 16. And Harden, 20. Okay, here's the thing with this game. Miami actually had the lead for the longest time of the game. A couple of back and forth, but by the time we get to 80 points, keep in mind, James Harden wasn't making a shot. By the time we got to the 80th point, all of a sudden, James Harden was making buckets and passing it to DeAndre Jordan. It's, it's mind-boggling just like how, just come on. You can't rely too much on Bam out of bio. We need the bench players to step up, and that's exactly what they did not do. We could have won this game, but we didn't. So we got swept by the Brooklyn Nets. It's a frustrating loss. A very frustrating loss. We could have won this game, but we didn't. James Harden was a good player. Denver, forget it. Denver Nuggets, just forget it. What can I say? We got blown. We just got blown. We got blown. We got blown in this game. 109 to 82. By the way, the final score of the other game was 95 or 98-85. This game was 109 to 82. Look, I have no reason to lie to you. I have no reason to lie to you. 109-82 Denver Nuggets. This is the worst performance I've seen this season. And don't give me an excuse. Don't give me an excuse saying that Jimmy Butler was not playing. Because we, we were capable of winning games without Butler. We proved it. We proved it. <sighs> Millsap, 11. Barton, 10. Uh, of course, um, Nikola Jovic, 21 points. Of course, you got to rely on him. He had a double-double that game. Mur uh, Murray, Jamal Murray. Um, fun fact, we were supposed to get him in the free agency, but he stayed with Denver. He got 14, and Harris got 7. For Miami, Olenek, 9 points. Apollo with the free throw. 1 point. And Adebayo, 15 points. Um, Kedrick, Nunn, 17. And Robinson, 8. Achula, 10 points off the bench. Two faults. Rebounding and defending. You're playing, you knew you're playing against a good team. You have to step up. Boy, we got dominated by Denver. And at home, too. It is super clear we missed, we clearly missed Jimmy Butler. But you cannot make an excuse. Also, 
How can you say we missed Jimmy Butler too much if we played better against the Clippers? By the way, we should have won if it wasn't for one reason only. Defending. We were actually winning by a lot. We were actually winning by a lot. We were up by 20 at one point against the LA Clippers. And then it quickly turned around. It was 33-19 in the, in the first quarter. And then it's 29-17 for the Clippers in the second quarter. Third quarter was a horrible disaster. They scored 40 points on third quarter alone. 40! And then 21 points in the fourth quarter for the Clippers. 36 points on fourth quarter for Miami. It was too late. It was it was just too late. Uh, Batum, 18. Uh, Serge Ibaka, 10. Jackson, 16. Man, 6. Uh, Man, 12. Kennard, 9. Keep in mind, Kawhi Leonard, he wasn't even playing. So we had a shot. But we didn't. What? <sighs> Olenek had 9 points out of bio 16. Hero. Tyler Hero, welcome back. He had 19 points. Kendrick Nunn, 10. Duncan Robinson, 6. Uh, Achua with 10 points. Akpala with 5. Gabe Vincent, the player who's just like 18 points. And Struess, 12. Finally, we have a win. And and a guy who we needed the most, Jimmy Butler, he finally returned off the COVID list. He had himself 30 points on his return. The comment that you made with him saying he needs to be traded and he averages two points a game, um, this proves right here, 30 points on his return. 30. Let me show it to you. I have no reason to lie to you. 30! Anyway, uh, Bagley the third, 17, Barnes 11, Holmes 4. Just what are you doing with De'Aaron Fox? What are you doing? He also had 30 points and healed with 18. Uh, Butler, like I said, had 30 points. Apollo, I mean, why is he a starter if he can't score a point? He scored none. Bam Adebayo, 18. Tyler Hero, 15. Duncan Robinson, 14. Kelly Olynyk, who should be a starter. He scored 11 off the off the bench. Come on. Come on, man. It's it, and, and we were losing by a... We were losing some points. And, and the Heat quickly turned it around. You know why? Our defending was better. You know, want to know how we ended up winning the game to not force an overtime or worst case scenario to lose the game? Thank Bam Adebayo for saving our asses. That that block saved the game to make it 104-105 against the Sacramento Kings, who was on a three-game winning streak, going for the four-game winning streak. We, meanwhile, we were on a five game losing streak the worst in the season so far if this doesn't change okay my prediction 82 percent miami heat making the playoffs in 2021 i'm embarrassed how this week went i'm embarrassed please change please make me change my mind otherwise i'm eating my words and what's even worse the hockey team is doing a lot better the hockey team is doing a lot better better and i and i made them i predict them the least the least likely to make the playoffs they are undefeated the florida panthers how is it that a team i predict to least likely make the playoffs this year are doing better than a team who i have highly high expectancy this is this is the words that I, I want I want to be able to be proud of. I didn't do it with the Miami Dolphins. But therefore, I am shameful of it. Shame.
Because with these, and my knowledge of sports in Miami, I despise being wrong. I was very disappointed in Miami Heat. This week should be a lot better. But then again, with my luck and our luck, we could lose Tyler Hero because his housemate was tested positive. So he might quarantine for two weeks. Great, right? We're going to play against Charlotte. We're going to play against Washington, who we beat earlier twice. Then we go. Then we play New York, the Knicks, who, by the way, the Knicks, not often are great. They're doing a good job. They're going. They're doing. They're having a good season so far. The Knicks, man, the Knicks, the team who you last expected to be good. They're nine and twelve. They lost to the Clippers. You know, but before that, they've been winning the game. What are you doing? What are you doing, Miami Heat? Get your head on your asses and let's win and play basketball. On the positive note, um, we have a winner of the week, at least. And it's ice hockey. The Florida Panthers. Third straight week in a row, Florida Panthers. Um, so this week is an interesting week because, um, one, two, three, four, four straight games, it involves overtime and two of them involving shootouts. Let's talk about it. Okay. So the game on Tuesday night, uh, we were actually in a bad situation against the Columbus Blue Jackets and we were not in Sunrise. We were actually in Columbus, Ohio. The same Columbus City that their soccer team actually won their uh, championship, the Columbus Crew. Remember, that I, re I, re I reviewed that team. They play, they play against Seattle. Columbus, uh, Kevin Stenlud, assisted by Miko Ko and Dean Gugan. Um, one nothing Columbus. And Alexandre Texier, 2 nothing Columbus. Um, then Carter Vallejo, good player. And I, I can confirm to you that he is from the Tampa Bay Lightning. This is his second season. So that's pretty cool. And finally, we actually have an equalizing goal from my boy, Alexander Barkov. His first goal of the season. Um, so, third period, not... Uh, we were actually on the power play, and um, we were actually on the power play coming into the third period, and this is this is what made this goal so frustrating. This was a shorthanded goal, and for those of you who don't know, a shorthanded goal, a shorthand, the shorthanded goal what happens when a team is on a power play, and the team who and the power play is five on four, right? So you have five players. And one and there's one guy from the team who is shorthanded. There's four players. One guy is in the penalty box, so the other team has an advantage uh, because they have more players. So the team who is not on power play, who has four players on the ice, they're shorthanded. So shorthanded, no problem. We scored. This goal is so frustrating to watch. Columbus scored on a shorthanded goal, and it was Cam uh, Atkinson. By this point, we all thought the game would be over if it wasn't for one player. Patrick Hornquist. This guy. Thank you. You saved our you saved you saved us. You saved our undefeated season so far. Patrick Hornquist. Great, great player. And he uh, he scored an equalizing goal with three seconds left of the regulation. Three seconds left of the game. Scores an equalizer. 3-3. Three, three. That game ended up going overtime in which no one scored. So we went, so you know what we did? We went to shootout, our first shootout of the season. Uh so um, shootout goal by Jonathan Huberdeau. Huberdeau was the first person because a couple of players like Miko Kavu 
and Frank Petrano, they missed. They missed. And then Cam Atkinson, it was actually saved by Brug by Bravosky. Gronkowski, come on now. Um, and then, um, and then, uh, when, by the time we got our first goal of the shootout, um, they actually equalized. But we still had one chance to, we still have one more shot to actually win the game. And unfortunately, that shot was saved by Junas, um, Junas Carcassel. Um, so we were, so this was a, this was a nail biter. So it was a good, this was a good shootout. And we can think of one player who equalized the game. Patrick Ornquist. Make it 2-1 in the shootout and to make the game 4-3. So we won the game off a shootout. Patrick Hornquist, he was a he was a game saver. I'm proud of him. Um, now this game is another good game to watch, and you know what? I'm not even upset that we lost the game because this was a good game to watch. This was these were both good games to watch. So Miku Kavu first goal, Carter Valahi, uh one one second period, Max Domi, and a two Laura Starian. First, the second goal of the season. Um, no, over, this was another overtime game. Who didn't make it? Who didn't have any skulls in? So we went to a shootout again. Uh, but only this time, um, Alexandre Texier was the one that was the one that connected the goal, and Patrick Cornquist was going to be the saver, but unfortunately, that was saved by a Columbus Crew goalie, and we suffered our. First, a first overtime loss. I can't say the first official loss, but our first loss of the game of the season. Um, but according according to the standings, it was not a loss. It was an overtime loss, OTL. So, n number of overtime losses. So, we're technically still, we're technically still undefeated. We're st we haven't lost a game. We only lost one game of the overtime. So, no matter what, I'm still happy we got a point off that game. Um, okay. Next game. Next game was another overtime involving overtime. And we go we took a one we took that trip from the north from Columbus all the way up to Michigan. Um Detroit, Michigan. My cousin goes to Michigan. Detroit, Michigan uh Detroit. Uh, his college is Michigan Spartans, Michigan State Spartans. Hey, Dylan, how are you? Okay, now, this game, um, this was a great game. The first period was magnificent. The rest of the game was like, uh, until you get to the overtime. Alexander Barkov from the power play. Anthony Mantha, Tyler Bertuzzi, and Keith Yandel were the ones who made the goals off the first period. Uh, but they were also the ones, um, they were also these players that actually took the lead and then they equalized afterwards. Tyler Petruzzi took the lead and Keith Yandel equalized. Overtime, we'll skip into the second period and third period. Alexi Hempoami, his first career goal, and it's a game winner against the Detroit Red Wings. By the way, Detroit Red, we, our hearts goes to Detroit Red Wings fans who are having a bad season so far. They're two five and two, and they are unfortunately in the bottom of the Central Division. So they look to redeem themselves against the Florida Panthers, who, by the way, took a one nothing lead in the first period by Dylan Larkin, but Patrick Lauren, but Patrick Lornquist of the power play to make a one one. And Aaron Eckblad, another power play goal. It's 2-1. In the third period, it's game, set, and match. Carter Valahi. And not even Anthony Mantha's goal can even make it. Because yeah, there was an empty net, and so I had an advantage. These were great games to watch. And hopefully we continue to make these great games. Because these next games are big. We're playing against Nashville. So, And then we got Detroit again. Then we got a very savage Tampa Bay Lightning, who are also, uh, actually, oh wait, they're not undefeated anymore. I just realized Tampa Bay Lightning are not undefeated anymore. So, so far so good with the Florida Panthers. It's, it's 
a great, great season so far. And hopefully we can continue this momentum against Nashville and Detroit. And eventually we get to Tampa Bay. Because we're going to need it if we want to make it to the playoffs and maybe make it to the Stanley Cup. But anyway, that's going to do it for this recap. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Next week, we'll be talking a lot more of the Miami Heat if they can win these games and if we could actually continue this momentum in the Florida Panthers and if the Hurricanes are actually winning the game for once. So, yeah, folks, that is it. Mirror TV signing out. Good night, everybody.